Have you ever created a track in GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad and wanted to share it with someone playing back not only the audio in stereo quality, but also the screen recording? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And this one is for my GarageBand iOS user friends. However, it has some applications across a bunch of other stuff because what we're gonna do is we're going to screen record my GarageBand project, but you can use this for anything else you're screen recording. I'm then gonna export that GarageBand file and then bring those both together in iMovie, a free video editing app here on the iPhone or the iPad so that we can play Back. not only the screen recording of our project but some high quality audio at the same time so let's dive in now and show you how so the first thing we need to do is get a screen recording of our project playing here in GarageBand, which is what is gonna be the basis of our video. Now to do our screen recording, we swipe up from the bottom of the screen on an older iPhone like this iPhone 6S, or if you're using a newer iPhone or an iPad, you swipe from the top right of the screen, and then you've got your record icon here. Now if you don't know how to do screen recording, I've got a complete beginner's guide to screen recording, which will be linked up the top there and down below as well. But all we need to do now is to tap and hold on this button until we get our recording options like so and then we want to make sure that the microphone is off here if that was on it would be picking up our microphone sound as well we want to make sure that's off we're going to tap on start recording and we're going to get a three two one countdown here on our phone we tap to make that go away we slide it down and then what we can do is we can hit play here and then we're just going to whatever we want to display on the screen we can display as we go so if we play this track now and we wanted to play the drums we wanted to make sure we show the drums and the bass here at the start we can do that if we wanted to show other parts down here we can do that so we can move this around as it plays back and depending how much you want to zoom in you can also do that you can pinch to zoom in or you can spread your fingers out to zoom out whatever you want someone to be looking at while you're playing back so I'm gonna let this record all the way through this track and then I'll come back and show you the next step so we've played back the entire track now and screen recorded it all just moving around just so I could show different parts on the screen here. So what we can do now is go out of GarageBand, jump into our photos, and if we go to our camera roll, the most recent photo there is this 4 minute 22 video file, which is the screen recording of our whole track. So we could just share that immediately, but the problem is, let's jump in. What you'll find is that the audio quality here is not going to be great and it's going to be mono audio as well. So we'll just skip to a part where there's some audio. So that's not bad, and if you just wanted to share that video file right now, that would be no problem at all. But I'll show you now what we can do to export this file as a high definition WAV file from GarageBand, and then bring that together with this video file in iMovie. Back in GarageBand, we're gonna tap in the top left here and go back to My Songs, and then we're gonna export this song by tapping Select in the top right corner, tapping on the track here, and hitting the blue box with an arrow, which is our Share button here in the bottom left. We're now gonna share the song, and we're going to share it as an uncompressed WAV file. We want the best quality audio coming out of GarageBand. We're going to tap share in the top right corner, and then it's going to ask us where we would like to save it. We're going to save to files by selecting this bottom left option. It's going to export the song, and then it's going to ask us where we'd like to save this song file. So the exporting is done. It's now going to ask me where I want to save this. I'm just going to save it here on my iPhone to my GarageBand folder. I'm going to tap add in the top right corner. And now there it is. There is my WAV file of my new song 6 and 8. So we've got our video file, we've got our audio file, we now need to bring them together. We're going to use iMovie, which we will tap on here. If you don't have iMovie, go to the App Store, search iMovie. It's made by Apple. It's a simple but effective video editing application. We're going to tap on create project here and tap on movie. Now this will bring us straight into our camera roll here and we can see here that this is the movie we want here. 4 minutes 21 over here on the right our screen recording. We're going to tap on that and then we're going to tap create movie and what it will do it'll bring that video file in here at the bottom here, we can scroll backwards and forwards by just swiping. And what we're going to do is we're going to swipe to the right until we get all the way to the front of our video here. And then we're going to keep scrolling until we find where we hit play. So we want to remove all of this section at the start. So we're going to line that up around about there. Then we're just going to double tap on that particular piece of audio. We're going to tap split 
sorry, video, tap split, and there, split it into two sections. We now wanna get rid of this first section, we tap on it, and then we tap delete in the bottom right corner. So now when we hit play, It's going to play our song, but of course we're going to replace this audio with the audio from our WAV file. Let's just edit the end to make sure that we can do the same thing there. We'll go right to the end of the track uh, until where we want it to stop. So we'll just find the part where it plays out here. <laughs> Nearly there. A little bit of reverb. And stop. So that's the point where we want it to stop in there. So again, double tap, we'll split, then we'll hit delete. So now we have three minutes 55 of audio, which is going to be the video file that we're now going to bring in our audio file to put against this. And we'll show you how to do that now. So it's now time to add in our audio file. So we're gonna tap on the plus button over here on the left. Now, uh, here is all of our photos and videos and you'd think that we'd tap audio file there, but we're actually gonna to need to go right to the bottom here and tap on iCloud Drive because this is where we've exported our file. Now we're gonna tap on my iPhone and we're gonna tap on GarageBand here. Now we'll just search for this to find it a bit quicker. We'll tap, type in six and there it is. We're gonna tap on six and eight version six. What it's now gonna do, is it has put the WAV file down here under this audio, under this video file. So there's our video file. If we tap on that, if we tap on this one, there is our WAV file. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't give us our WAV form to make it easy to match up our video and our audio. So it's going to require a little bit of trial and error, which I'm going to show you how to do right now. So at the moment, we're going to have the audio from the video and the audio file. If we just hit play, this is what it's going to sound like. So you can hear there that the audio comes in from our video before it comes in from the audio. Let's just watch this again and you'll see the little, the first drum hit happen here. Actually, it's for audio before the video. So what we need to do is we need to remove a little bit of the video here from the start. Now, this is where it becomes a little bit trial and error. But what we can do is we tap on the video here. We can tap and hold on this left side of the yellow spot here. And then we can drag this. We'll do that again. We'll drag it in. And you can see there we can just adjust that in a little bit. And what that's going to do is move our video across. But it's not going to move our audio. So let's now hit play. We're really close there. You can hear that those hits are almost exactly on. So let's try this again. We'll just tap and drag it. We'll just tap and drag a little bit more. Another line there and play again. Perfect. So yes, it does require a little bit of fiddling and trial and error to get that sounding right. But what we're now going to do though is remove the audio from the video and just leave our audio from here. So let's tap the video and then down the bottom left here, there's all of these little icons. We're going to tap on the audio icon here and then we're going to drag our audio to be completely muted. You can see a little mute sign has come up there on our video. So now it's only going to be playing the audio from our audio file. Let's play this back now and make sure it's syncing up. And that is perfect. We've got our stereo audio from our WAV file here. We've got our video file here showing our screen. And if we scroll all the way to the end, let's just make sure that it's still lined up and it's still sounding good right at the end of our project. And there you go, we are good to go. Now the audio you're hearing there is still only gonna be mono because it's just on my screen recorder, but at the end of this video, I'll be playing back the full version of the screen recording with the stereo audio so you can take a listen. But let's hit done now because we're not quite finished there. I just wanna show you how we can now use this video file in any other platform that we want. So down the bottom here now, we've got my movie here. We can rename it if we want to, but if you wanna share this file, we tap on the little box with the arrow in the middle down the bottom here, and now here's a a very familiar window. We can now share this file wherever we want. Now, what I like to do is I just save the video. So I'm gonna tap on save video here because this is gonna save it out to my camera roll. I usually choose HD 1080p, but you can choose a lower resolution if you want. 1080p just gives you the best definition of your video and your sound. So this is gonna export this movie now and we'll jump back once it is done and show you where it puts it.
So there you go, the movie was exported to my photo library. We can tap on OK now, we can click the home button, and if we go back over here to my photos, then here it is. Here is our video file there that we can now play back right here from our photos. We can share this in any other way we like. If you want to share it to YouTube or Facebook or wherever you like, you can just upload it directly from your photos here on your iPhone or your iPad. And there you have it, a couple of additional steps, but a pretty simple process. And doing it this way, we get our screen recording and that high quality audio as well. And this has applications for creating music videos, for doing screen sharing in a whole bunch of different apps and different ways. Thanks again for watching. If you've got any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. So just before we finish off here, what I'll do is I'll now play you back the full song in stereo audio with the screen recorder so you can take a look at what the final result looks like of this video project. dance while you've got the chance and have the talent but I would rather sit and play with toys and hang out with the boys and start some trouble so she dragged me away all the while trying to say Son, there'll be time for all that You better start dancing Time after time we are standing in line And we're making the most of each rhyme I'm happy to see that you're waltzing with me And we're dancing in six and eight time Now I found dance and there would be romance around the corner ten years later we would be as one a different kind of fun but one that's lasting working mortgage and kids wouldn't change it for quids Only wish there was more time To go dancing Time after time we are standing in line And we're making the most of each rhyme I'm happy to see that you're waltzing with me And we're dancing in six and eight time Time is moving on Like a distant song you don't remember But I know one thing that will never fade The memories we made will last forever And my mother was right and to my delight Now I can pass on her words to the next generation Time after time we are standing in line And we're making the most of each rhyme I'm happy to see that you're waltzing with me And we're dancing in six and eight time Time after time we are standing in line And we're making the most of each rhyme I'm happy to see that you're waltzing with me And we're dancing in six and eight time Yes, we're dancing in six and eight time We're dancing in six and eight time We're dancing in six and eight time
Hey, thanks for sticking around. You can check out two more videos in the link right down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner or head on over to studiolivetoday.com for even more audio goodies.